Welcome to Pacific Balance Marine Management. My name is Tom Seawood. I'm the president of our All First Nations organization, made up of directors from throughout British Columbia. We've been working for over two years now with the Federal Department of Fisheries and Oceans to see our food social ceremonial harvest of pinnipeds, seals and sea lions, so that it's we get licensed so that we can sell the parts that come from the animals we harvest.
we're going to be able to have a new fishery, so to speak, so that we can go out and harvest the animals, retrieve them, do toxicity tests with the blubber, costs about $80 per, so that we can get Canadian Food Inspection Agency certification to sell the pinniped meat and the oil from the blubber to food and pet food consumption. And there's an industry that we can develop. We also have the bones. Here at Fern Canada, grizzly bear and black bear skulls and other skulls, walrus skulls with the tusks, narwhal tusks. There's buyers throughout the world that are eager to be able to purchase these. But they're even more eager for seal and sea lion skulls because they haven't been available on any market for decades. And who knew there were skull collectors? But a big sea lion skull, if it was this big and prime shape with good teeth, I've had some people saying they'd pay up to $1,500 US for it. So there's another industry. The crab, the prawn fisheries, they want the oil and the meat and the blubber for bait. You can buy octopus and squid and herring, smelt, anchovy. Why can't you be able to buy seal or sea lion for your crab trap or the oil for your pellets for your prawn traps? And then, of course, for Canada, their industry is furs mainly. You see these beautiful seal boots for a woman. You see these boots here for a man. And, of course, this is an East Coast seal hide. And from those hides, Fur Canada makes these vests like mine and these ones up here. They also make pillows. Please, if you don't like what we're doing with our pinniped harvest here in British Columbia and other fur harvests, to please be respectful of the indigenous people of Canada and please be silent and step aside because we are going to do it come hell or high water. And if you are supportive of it, please reach out to us. And like I said, Tom Seawood, President, Pacific Balance Marine Management. I'm here to communicate with you and to negotiate with you if you're against what we're doing so we can come to the common ground of agreement so that we don't have to support one another we just need to respect one another i thank you very much in the language of my people from northeastern vancouver island the kwakwakiwak people i'm also half cree halakulisla go in peace <laughs>